Another way to look at the mass density of the universe is in terms of the cosmic mass to light ratio. Mass to light ratio is defined as the ratio of the mass in solar units to the luminosity in solar units. So for the Sun, by definition, M over L is 1. In general, low mass stars have mass to light ratios greater than 1, and high mass stars have ratios less than 1. We know that the stellar populations typical of normal galaxies give overall mass to light ratios in the range of 3 to 10. And this means that anywhere in the universe on larger scales where we infer mass to light ratios much above 10, we must be looking at dark matter. The halos of galaxies through dynamical measurements have mass to light ratios in the range 10 to 50. Groups of galaxies in the range 30 to 200 clusters of galaxies in the range 100 to 400, and the local supercluster, through a very uncertain measurement, has a mass to light ratio in the range 300 to 500. On all these large scales, most of the mass is coming from dark matter. However, the mass to light ratio in the standard cosmology corresponding to critical mass density is 1,500. So even on the largest scales, there's not sufficient dark matter to account for a critical density. It's a factor of three short.